Are you looking to automate your crypto day trading using technical indicators like MACD, RSI, and Bollinger Bands? Well, you're in luck. Today, I'm going to walk you through creating a crypto trading bot that uses a momentum reversal strategy, which combines these three indicators to attempt to find price reversals and quickly respond to them. This is a long-only strategy with no short positions. We'll be creating this trading bot using the Koigo Bots platform, our incredibly powerful yet simple to use crypto trading bot platform with a focus on day trading strategies that operate on intervals as short as minutes, seconds, or even milliseconds. Koigo Bots allows you to create and run trading bots on all major crypto exchanges with a number of pre-built strategies for day trading, such as arbitrage, grid trading, swing trading, and more. All strategies in Koigo Bots also have their source code fully available to view or modify, so you can know exactly what your trading bot is doing. Koigo Bots also runs entirely on your machine and not our servers. That means your exchange account credentials, aka your API keys, are only stored and encrypted on your machine. Koigo servers never have access to your accounts. Right now, we're looking at the Koigo Bots home screen. So over here, we can see My Bots. This will take you to a list of any trading bots that you've created. My Strategies. So each trading bot uses a strategy to define its behavior. We can see all of those here. Koigo Forge, which is a tool that allows you to code your own custom trading bot strategies using simple JavaScript code. And actually all the strategies available within Koigo were built with Koigo Forge and have the code open source for you to view or modify. Now we're going to go to My Strategies. And over here, we can see Momentum Reversal Trader, MACD, RSI, and BB, or Bollinger Bands. We can also see all of the other trading bot strategies that are currently available within Koigo Bots. Note that this list will change over time as we add more. So we can see we have a Ping Pong Swing Trader, which alternates between buying and selling to ping pong back and forth as the price moves. We have a Spot Grid Swing Trader, a Smart Rebalancer, Triangular Arbitrage, Inter-Exchange Arbitrage without transfers, and more. But today, we're going to be focused on the Momentum Reversal Trader, MACD, RSI, and BB. So we can click into that and see a bit about the strategy. Now on the right, we can see the full source code to this strategy. This is completely open for anyone to view or modify. There's no magical black box here that you have to trust. You can see exactly what the strategy is doing. Now on the left side, we can see the description. So this strategy uses MACD, RSI, and Bollinger Bands technical indicators to attempt to find reversals and quickly react to them by purchasing the asset and configuring simultaneous stop loss and take profit conditions. Three buy signals must occur for the strategy to confirm a buy condition. First, the MACD, a bullish MACD crossover must occur, where the MACD crosses over its signal line, and I'll explain that in a bit. RSI, the RSI must be below the RSI buy level, buy level, which you can configure within the last X number of intervals, which you can also configure using the RSI look back period. And for Bollinger Bands, the price must be close enough to the lower band within the last X number of intervals, which you can configure again. This is configured using the Bollinger Bands percent B value, which denotes how close the price is to the upper and lower bands. We explain this a bit down here, but basically, if percent %B is 0, it's touching the bottom band. If percent %B is 1, it's touching the top band and in between. So we can go back to my strategies, and here we're going to create a bot using the Momentum Reversal Trader, MACD, RSI, and BB. All right, you're creating a new bot. So it's selected the strategy, and now we can see the configuration page to configure a new trading bot that uses the strategy. So I'm going to give this bot a name. I'll call it BTC Momentum Trader. Now here we can choose the execution interval. So once per execution interval, the bot will access market data, rerun the strategy's code, potentially submit or manage orders when appropriate. So right now for this strategy, it's defaulted to two minutes. Now what this means is that when we're using the MACD, RSI, and Bollinger Bands indicators, they will also be calculated on this interval. Momentum indicators tend to not provide very helpful data on extremely short intervals. So today we're going to go with two minutes, but you can change it to five minutes or one minute or 30 seconds or whatever you'd like. For the exchange to use, we can select any of the supported exchanges within Koigo Bots. Today I'll use Kraken, 
I'll pick the BTC USD trade pair. Now for the order amount, the order amount for every buy and sell order valued in the base symbol of the selected trade pair. So it's valued in Bitcoin. So we're going to do 0 0.2 Bitcoin for every order. Now we configure the buy signals for the RSI and Bollinger Bands. So first let's look at a chart to visualize this. We'll look at the Kraken BTC USD chart. Now we already have those three indicators displayed here by default. So right here, here's the MACD. So remember our first buy signal for this strategy is a bullish crossover. Now that's when the blue passes over the orange. So we can see right here, the blue passes over the orange as the price is trending back upwards. And for example, it happens again right here as it's trending upwards. We can see that in the candlestick up here. So right when the blue crosses over, that will be our first buy signal. Now that's not always enough to be considered a buy signal. So we will also use RSI. So RSI is down here. Now, for example, if RSI drops down here, it looks like this is 35, which is the default value. If it drops below 35, like it does right here, that would also be considered a buy signal. So we can see right here, the price quickly dropped and that would consider it to be oversold. Or another example right here, it drops down. Again, another potential buy signal as it shoots up after that. And finally, we can see Bollinger Bands, which is these big green wide bands forming around the candlestick here. So our buy signal that we configure for Bollinger Bands is if the price comes within some percent of the lower band. So let's say right here, it touched the lower band. So that could potentially be considered a buy signal. You can see it reverses back up after that. We're looking for that reversal. Or again, right here, it touches the lower band and then slightly reverses, or again, right here. So each of these on their own is not a definitive buy signal, but we can look at all three of them for a more complete picture of where the price is trending and if a reversal is possible. So the RSI buy level, I'll keep it at 35. Now the look back period. So the strategy is says first, did an MACD bullish crossover happen? If it did, now we're going to check, did an RSI buy signal fire within the last three look intervals? We can pick whatever we want, it's defaulting to three. So that means if within the last three intervals, so if our interval is two minutes, that means if within the last six minutes, the RSI has dropped below 35, that's also considered a buy signal. And then finally, we will then check Bollinger Bands. If the price has come close to the lower band, if this were zero, it means the price touched the lower band. 0 0.1 means it came close to the lower band. And now we're saying if that also occurred within three intervals or six minutes of the MACD bullish crossover, that will be confirming our third buy signal. Now, of course, these are all completely configurable and up to you, but these are just the defaults that I'm going to go with today. Now we have a take profit and stop loss percent. These are used to configure simultaneous take profit and stop loss conditions. So as soon as you make a buy order and it completes, the bot will set up both a take profit condition that says if the price incre increases by 0.85%, you want to take your profits and sell, or this is saying if the pri price drops by 0.85%, we want to stop further losses, prevent further losses, and sell. So this is a way to try to capitalize on profits, but also prevent holding the position if it keeps dropping and prevent further losses. Here we have a maximum number of open orders. This is defaulted to six. And a maximum number of orders per second also defaulted to six. And if you want, you can enter your custom trading fees. We're just gonna use the default ones here. They may be different for you and your account. Now we'll hit create. All right, we've just created our brand new trading bot. So you can see it saved all the values that we entered here. Now we can go to run. And here we can actually run this trading bot. When we click run this bot, we're given a few more options to configure about this specific bot run. So for the maximum runtime, it's defaulted to four hours. We can change this, but this means that after four hours, the bot will stop itself. And then we can enable or disable test mode, which is paper trading. So this is enabled by default right now. 
What this means is that your bot will not use real money. You can provide it fake balances to use, and it will trade using those fake balances. So this is a great way to test a trading bot strategy without using your real money. So right now, the fake wallets for test mode will give the bot 0.5 Bitcoin, and we'll give it 5,000 USD. We have an explainer here of how test mode works, if you're curious about the internals about that. And again, we can view the strategy if we want the description or the code, but we're ready to run it. So we're going to hit run bot. We have a disclaimer here. We're just going to go into accept and run this bot. Now, as the bot is starting up, you can see a few different things. On the left side, we can see the activity log. This will give us updates as the bot executes. We can see it's currently subscribing to real-time data feeds for order books, ticker feeds, and candlestick data. There we go. And now it's executed its first interval. And remember, we set the ex execution interval to two minutes. So it ran the first one, and the next one is in about two minutes. So first, let's go over the balances. This shows the current and starting balances of the bot. So this is what you started with. This is what you currently have. So this can show how your balances have changed over time. Market feeds. So this is any order books or markets that your bot is currently subscribed to. So we can see Kraken, Bitcoin USD, the ask and bid and last of this market. If the bot had submitted any orders, they'd be down here for you to view. And now we can look at the activity log. So the latest interval tells you the timestamp that it happened as well. We can see the three buy signals. First, MACD signal crossed over the signal, which means the current MACD is over the signal, and the previous MACD value, or the last interval two minutes ago, was less than or equal to the signal. So we can see, is this true? No. Is this true? So if those are both true, they would say yes, but since they're not both true, the buy signal did not occur. Now, the next one for RSI is the RSI less than or equal to our configured RSI buy level. So the RSI is 42, which is not less than or equal to 35. So again, there's no buy signal right now. And finally, Bollinger Bands. Is the percent %B less than or equal to our percent %B buy level that we configured? Now the Bollinger Bands percent %B of the last interval was 0 0.26, which is not less than or equal to our configured buy level of 0 0.1. So again, no, no buy signals. Now those are the buy signals for the current interval, but remember that the strategy does a look back. So after MACD experiences a buy signal with a bullish crossover, it will look back some certain number of intervals and say, okay, MACD buy signal occurred. Did the RSI buy signal occur within the last few intervals? And did the Bollinger Bands buy signal occur within the last few intervals? So we can see that it just went and executed another interval, and now we're on number two. So we can go back in time and see how the bot is doing for each interval and its output. So you can see the MACD values changed in the two minutes, the RSA value changed, and the Bollinger Bands percent %B value changed. But again, no current buy signals. Now I'm going to stop this bot. Oh, and you can view the bot config. If you don't want to stop it, this is everything that you entered. So here's the RSI buy level. It's 35, look back period, three intervals, etc. So we'll go ahead and stop this bot. There you go. Now on the activity log, we can say that it's stopping the bot because we clicked the stop this bot button. It's so waiting to confirm if there were any orders being submitted, which there are not. It's unsubscribing from the real-time data feeds. Now note that these data feeds are happening directly from your, exchange, your machine to the exchange. Our servers do not act as a middleman. Your machine is connected directly to each exchange. That means we provide you the lowest possible latency. All right, now we'll go back to the spots runs. And here you can see, now we have one run. We can see the bot config. The balances, they did not change over time since no orders were placed in the minute that we ran it. Start time, the end time, and the stop reason. So this time it stopped because we clicked the stop the spot button. And if Tesmo was enabled, which it was. Now if we wanted to see the activity logs for the last run, we can click here. And we can go back in time and see what the bot was doing. 
This is great for inspecting and seeing what types of changes that configurations can have or affect on your bot, or just see how it's operating over time. Now we're heading back to the bot's home screen. So if we go to My Bots, we will now see the new bot that we created right at the top, BTC Momentum Trader. There it is. We can configure it. We can go back to the run screen and run it again if you would like. And that's it. If you'd like to give Kogo Bots a shot, you can sign up for free on our website today. Every subscription plan includes a free trial. Good luck trading.